What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Real Bucks Talk video. Today, we're going to be looking at the interior defensive line for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and it's a big one. So you got newly acquired Akeem Hicks, you got Vita Vea, your anchor, and William Golson, your starting three in the interior. That's a whole lot of man, a whole lot of beef. Anyway, you want to look at it, that that front is made to stop the run, and it's also now, with the addition to Hicks, with Hicks, going to get after the quarterback. And Vita Vea is going to help influx everything you're gonna have to double him hicks is a, a very good pass rusher when healthy again that's the big thing it, it's with all these players stay healthy and this defense can look outstanding but initially plus what do you see from this defensive line right yeah I'm, I'm right there with you um you know as far as the interior defense line it's it's a new dynamic you know no endowment can sue this year it looks like um obviously with akeem hicks stepping in alongside vita vea then you look at, you know, William Golston. I, I, I think, you know, that right there is very massive, one, very physical and very athletic as well. So you have a new dynamic up front, which should help your your team. But let's take a look at uh, what Akeem Hicks had to say about the the addition and also playing alongside Vita Vea. The one two punch you guys can have inside. I've been watching him for a couple years, and, and one of the things that I love that he does is, is push up the field. You know, he, he disrupts that pocket quite a bit. And um, it's something that um, a powerful uh, guys that play with power, like myself, we admire. Um, I, I heard guys on the defense chirping guys on the defense and trying to make them play better, trying to motivate them. And I think that's a, a winning culture. You know what I mean? When a guy doesn't, uh, when you look around and somebody's kind of, you know, chastising you or criticizing what you've done and you're able to receive that and, and try to be better, I think that's winning culture. And I saw some of that today. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff there by Akeem Hicks, obviously talking about playing next to Vita Vea. And it should be a force if, if they're, uh, you know, definitely healthy. Uh, you know, going forward. So, yeah, I mean, that's really nice. And then also the culture, talking about just the winning attitude and guys holding each other accountable. Uh, but interior-wise, I, I think the dynamic is going to be really, really fun to watch um, just because it's more athletic up front. You got a little bit more speed up there. Uh, and obviously, let's talk about, you know, the the second-round pick for the Bucks, Logan Hall, who also going to bring – you know, that more speed up front, more quickness and just length and, and size, you know, obviously staying at six, six, about 290 pounds. Yeah. You know, a lot of people talked about comparing him to a William Golson, but, you know, I see him in that mold of where he can just be, you know, kind of whatever you need up front. He can be kind of a swift, uh, Swiss army knife in that sense and play a lot of different positions and really help out this team as far as the pass rush goes. And he's so raw as a player. I mean, you see him here. ESPN has him ranked third string, rightfully slow. So, I mean, you got Nacho, who's literally been our backup swing tackle or swing defensive tackle or nose tackle, whatever you into your position you need him to play. He's usually there. He's usually consistent, and he's always available. So he's rightfully so going to be there. Logan Hall doesn't have the experience, doesn't have – I mean, the fact that people are saying he's going to be our starting defensive tackle Scared me. That was why, to me, Akeem Hicks was a huge addition. Logan Hall, yeah, maybe big, but he's raw. He's not really fully into his body just yet. People want him to be um, an edge rusher. People want him to be an interior three tech. People want him to stop the run. Let's see what he is first. He doesn't even know what he is just yet. I mean, he's learning on the go right now. And let's just see what these long levers can do. I mean, Warren Sapp was out there teaching the young guy up. So let's see what he can bring to the table. Initially, let's just get him on pass rush downs. That's what he wants to do is what he, you hear him that he likes to do. Let's see what that looks like. And that looks like a perfect position for him. I mean, only third down or times where we can get out to the quarterback. Hell yeah, I'll take that. We're going to have a quicker guy in the interior, young, ready to get after it. And then give me the dogs up here that will consistently stop the run, know what to do. And they're sound defensively. That's what we need. We don't need someone when we're on a trying to go for a Super Bowl run, learning on the go. That was a big thing, and they shorted it up big time with me with Akeem Hicks. Right. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And I, I think you look at you know Hicks and then William Golston as well, who 
Golston has taken leaps every year, it seems like, especially in this system. He's been playing very well. Yeah. And now you have him as a veteran. You have Akeem Hicks, who has veteran experience. Vita Vea has been in the in the league now for, you know, more than four years. And he's continuing to rise, you know, raise his game. So I think with those three he up got front. Paid like that. I'll say that. Yeah, yeah, he got paid. And I, I think with those three guys, you have a very formidable front. And then you have guys that can come in after those guys and be, I think, effective. You know, uh, Nunez Roches, I think, plays very well and always bringing that energy, that hustle across the line. So that's a very good key backup. And then you look at, you know, they did add, um, I think it's DeAndrin Sanat from uh, Atlanta. Uh, you know, he was a former draft pick at theirs. And, uh, you know, he's been kind of around the league for a little bit. Um, so now they're, you know, bring him in as a, you know, potential backup and, you know, obviously he's ideal, you know, nose tackle or can play as a D end on, on the, uh, you know, down in front, but we'll see what he can bring. And then Patrick O'Connor also is back. So, you know, they like his game. He's another guy that when, when he's out there, he does, you know, he, he does his job. And I think that's what they're looking for um, from those guys up front. Yeah. Let's sum this all up. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. This is at our team or defensive core in general, Vita Vea runs the ship. If he's in the middle and everyone alongside him, behind him, around him will benefit. So if Vita Vea is healthy and going, you can get the rotation like I was mentioning with Nacho and Logan Hall. Keep him healthy. Get him out there. He's earned his contract so far. Let's see if he keeps playing like that number that he just got. So Vita Vea, stay healthy. Get after it because everyone's going to eat if he eats. So other than that, guys, if you enjoy the content, make sure to hit that like button down below. Help support the channel. What's the defensive line, interior defensive line, look like to you? Are you happy with it? Do you think they should add someone? What do you think Logan Hall is going to do? Is he going to get six sacks like he's trying to get? Is, uh, his predict prediction will it become true? Let us know down in the comments down below. And with that said, until the next one.